想请问一下，为什么这次 materials 给这么晚啊？重点是里面还很多东西耶、欸。啊，是啊，因为这一次 ，Oh my God。所以呢，这次干货满满，大家一定要看到最后、哦。Hi everyone, welcome back to our property and investing chat. I'm Linda from Midas Real Estate, and here we have Yoyo here today,、um, our founder and head property strategist. Yoyo, today I have a couple of questions, and one of them that I'd like advice for is: If I am a first home owner, what government grants or rebates am I eligible for? Also, how can I obtain them? Thanks, Linda, for your question. Hello, everyone. My name is Yoyo. Welcome back to our channel. Last week, I have mentioned ten upfront costs you need to consider before buying a property, and it can be pretty daunting, especially for first home buyers. So today, I have summarized five incentives you may be eligible for from the government support as a first home buyer. Bear in mind, the schemes can change from time to time, so the summary I tried to put up together today is only for indicative use. You still need to consult your state government for your eligibility. Firstly, first home owner grant. It can save you between 10 grand to 20 grand from state to state. The first question you need to ask yourself is, am I eligible for first home owner grant?、Mm -hmm. The eligibility criteria for first home buyers differs slightly between states and the territories, but generally the criteria includes each applicant must be a major person, not a company or trust. At least one applicant must be a permanent resident or Australian citizen. And they must be at least 18 years old. You or your spouse or co-purchaser must not have previously owned any residential property in Australia before 1st July 2000, and cannot have lived in a residential property which you owned from 1st July 2000, and haven't claimed the grant previously in any state or territory. You must live in your home for a continuous period of at least 12 months. There are other state-specific conditions as well, such as the maximum price threshold, how much the grant will cover, the type of property, etc. Take Queensland as example. You must purchase brand new property or build your own home, including land, under the value of seven hundred fifty thousand, to be eligible for the first home grant of fifteen grand, and extra five thousand for brand new property in regional areas. Second, stamp duty concession or exemptions. You can claim a first home stamp duty concessions when acquiring your first home if you meet certain requirements. While a host of eligibility requirements for duty concession can vary massively from state to state. For instance, from 1st July 2019, buyers in Australian Capital Territory can avoid paying stamp duty if they are over 18 years old and earning a combined income below the threshold of 160,000 and never owned a property in the past two years. Also, must live in the home continuously for 12 months. While in South Australia, full stamp duty applies even to first home buyers. Compared to other states or territories. There are lots of benefits in Queensland. First, you do not have to be an Australian citizen or permanent resident to claim a concession or exemption. But additional foreign acquired duty may apply if you are a foreign person. Second, it can apply to brand new or existing property and a vacant land as well. Third, you pay zero stamp duty if the property under half million or vacant land under two hundred fifty thousand. Fourth, you pay discounted stamp duty on properties under five hundred fifty thousand dollars or vacant land under four hundred thousand dollars. Last, you must live in the home continuously for twelve months and cannot dispose of all or part of your home within a year. So always double check your local government website and to find out if you are eligible. Third, home building grant. On the 4th of June this year, the federal government announced the Home Builder Grant, which is designed to stimulate the Australian economy in the wake of recession. The Home Builder Grant will provide a 25,000 to Australian citizens who meet the following criteria: you must be a person over 18 years old, not a company or trust, and holding Australian passport, not permanent residence. Your earnings for last financial year is less than 125,000. Or less than two hundred thousand if you are a couple. The property you purchase or build, including the land, must be under seven hundred fifty thousand, only for owner-occupied purpose, not for investment. Or you can spend between one hundred fifty thousand dollars to seven hundred fifty thousand to renovate your own home 
which before the reno, the property is under $1.5 million. Some renovations are not covered by the grant, including adding a pool, tenant's court, shed or garage, while bathroom, kitchen renovations are covered. Any building or renovation contract must be signed between 4th of June and 31st December 2020, and the construction starts three months once contract signed. Click the link below for more information. Fourth, first home super saver scheme. It was introduced by Australian government in the federal budget 2017 and 18 to reduce the pressure on housing affordability. It allows you to save money for your first home inside the super fund, which helps first home buyers to save faster with the concessional tax treatment of superannuation. As a single, you can make up to maximum 30 grand in voluntary contribution to the super fund with a limit of 15 grand per financial year. Once your savings has been released, you have up to 12 months to sign a contract and live in the property for at least six months. Click the link below for more information. Thanks, Yoyo. How much deposit do I need? Do I have to have 20%? First Home Loan Deposit Scheme. It began on the 1st January 2020, which allows the first home buyers to purchase a property with only a 5% deposit without paying lender's mortgage insurance and the government can guarantee the remaining 15% of the deposit. So to answer your question, Linda, you don't have to have 20% deposit if you meet the following eligibility criteria. All applicants must be over 18 years old and must be Australian citizens. And they must be first home buyers and never own a residential property, whether it's an investment or home occupied. Individual applicants must have earned less than 125000 or 200000 for couples in the last financial year. Your mortgage needs to be an owner-occupied loan with principal plus interest repayments. To be eligible for the scheme, you must purchase your first home within the price threshold in your state or your city and region. For detailed information, please click the link below. That's all for today. To sum up, if you could meet all the requirements for the five incentives supported by the government, it potentially saves you between 50 grand to 85 grand, depending on which state you live in. I know there's a lot of information to be digested today. Feel more than welcome to email us to request a copy of summary, which we tried so hard to put everything together, and hopefully you can benefit from that. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope that you found this video informative and helpful. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more property and investment videos. And if you have any more questions, please comment below where we'll try to answer all your questions and don't forget to hit the notification bell at the top here and thank you so much for watching see you next time about our youtube channel do you prefer english or chinese comments down below to let us know